Welcome back to my channel. I'm Didi. If this is your first time tuning in, go ahead and click the subscribe button and the notifications button. If you're a return subscriber, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So today's video is going to be a get to know me tag. So if you've been watching my videos, you already know when I post videos, I like y'all to leave comments and I actually respond to um, the comments just so we can have dialogue back and forth. A lot of questions you guys ask me other people don't see you know what I mean so I just feel like I get que asked questions about so many different things so I'm finally gonna do a get to know me take so the questions that I got were like from like a, a random I guess generic get to know me tag online mixed in with questions that people actually ask me so I just kind of combined the two and so that's where I'm gonna get the questions I mean that's where I got the questions from so let's get right into it so I have the questions on my phone so we're just gonna jump right into it okay so what is your name my name is Demetria but I go by Didi are you single or taken I am very taken I'm in a serious relationship I'm actually engaged and we'll be getting married in September so stay tuned for that where are you from I get this question all the time people be like oh I love your Atlanta accent I am from Dangerfield, Texas. <laughs> that is Northeast Texas, a very, 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 very small town. So that's where I'm from. Where do you live? I live in the Dallas Fort Worth area. What is your favorite color? So the whole favorite color thing, like two of the colleges that I went to, the color was purple. So I kind of fell in love with the color purple. But as far as clothes, like I love black clothes. Like I have a lot of black dresses and just black shirts in my closet because I think black is just so chic you know what I mean you can put all different types of accessories this that, and the other so as far as clothes I would say black as far as just like color color then it would be purple what do you do for a living so I work in the accounting um, and finance industry and I've been doing that now for 11 years do you have any siblings yes i have one sister who's younger than me so i have a little sister well i don't even know why i'm calling her a little sister she's 27 so technically she's not little but she my little sister her name is desiree and i have a little cousin who watches all my videos named shania so hey shania are you mixed no i'm not mixed people ask me that all the time i feel like just because you have a whole bunch of hair that does not automatically make you mixed and i don't know where people get that from but no both of my parents are black so i'm not mixed as far as i know <laughs> um do you have any kids no i don't have any biological children my fiance has a son so i consider him my son as well but i don't have any biological kids next question what is the first thing you notice about people so i guess i would say like their energy or whatever that's like the first thing that i notice about people are you competitive yes i'm very competitive okay i play for keeps okay um favorite food hmm. this one is hard my favorite food so i love seafood i love mexican food but like favorite food if i could eat anything let me say this so since i live in the city you know i'm from like a small town like from the country or whatever so when i go home to visit my mama the one thing that i request two things but this is the thing that i request the most so when i come home sometimes all i want her to do is make me some homemade french fries and fry me some pork chops so i can make me a fried pork chop sandwich homemade french fries and a coke or a sweet tea <laughs> y'all y'all don't even understand just me even thinking about that that is like the best meal to me put a little bit of hot sauce on my fried pork chop so if i had to say like my favorite meal like that's like always usually when i go home to visit my mama that's what i want her to make me what is something you look for in a partner definitely 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 i look for loyalty like i want to be with somebody that i know is going to have my back no matter what like ups downs whatever it is we can figure it out together and work on us and move on so for me it would be loyalty zodiac sign zodiac sign i'm a virgo woo woo. so my birthday is august the 28th so shout out to all the virgos a virgo the virgin wait a minute virgo the virgin is that the thing 
I don't know. I could have made that up. But yes, I'm a Virgo. So, what are your hobbies? <sighs> Lord. Okay, so hobbies. I like to spend time with my family and friends. I love to play games. Like board games. Any type of little competitive thing. Like the little games they have in Dave and Buster's. I'm all in with it. Like, I love playing games. I like to read. I enjoy making flower arrangements because I love flowers. Oh, favorite sport. Favorite sport, hands down, is football. Like, I'm all in with football. You pretty much can't miss me with football. So, Sundays and Mondays are football season. I'm in front of the TV watching it. Oh, and then I'm ask this, but my favorite team is the Dallas Cowboys. Okay. How tall are you? I am 5'9". What sports do you play or have you played? Um, I played... In high school, I played volleyball, basketball, and I ran track. So, my favorite subject in school, my favorite subject in school was math. What is one of your bad habits? Oh, Lord, just one bad habit. I always want to be right. Or I think I'm always right. But let me explain. Like, low-key now, I know this may sound conceited, but... I really, I genuinely, with everything in me, I really feel like I have, like, bomb ideas. Like, really, really good ideas. And so, if I feel like I have great ideas, then, of course, I'm going to feel like my ideas are better than everyone else's ideas. <laughs> That's just the way it goes. I'm not knocking all the people in my circle that I love. I just think I have good ideas. You know what I'm saying? So, I feel like if I have good ideas... Nine times out of ten, we just need to roll what I want to do. And so, I think that's a bad habit. You know, I think that sometimes other people's ideas can be better than mine. But to me, whatever I come up with, that's what we need. Another bad habit I think I have is stressing. Y'all, I will stress myself out. I have to keep reminding myself every day that life is too short. And stress is one of the things that will take you down fast. If we're friends, if we are friends or family members, whatever, and you stress, and guess what? I'm going to take over the stress for you. I will stress for you. That's what I do. I'm just a worrier. So I would say stressing and always thinking that my ideas are better than everybody else's. Which they are. Um, Let's see. What is your favorite drink? So I would say the drink, the thing that I drink the most is water. But if I was trying to treat myself to a drink, I would get a Coke. Are you in college or have you gone to college? No, I'm not in college. Yes, I have gone to college. I've actually gone to three colleges. So let me just break this down. Okay, so um, when I was in high school, I got a full basketball scholarship to TCU, which is Texas Christian University in Fort Worth. So I went to TCU on a basketball scholarship. And then like after a couple of years of being there, I felt like, you know, I wasn't getting that much playing time. It wasn't working out, so let me transfer. Which, looking back, I was young and crazy. I probably really should have stayed there. It's not that serious. It wasn't like I was going to the WNBA. But anyways, when you're young and you come from, like, a smaller school where you, like, killing it and averaging a whole bunch of points and you go to Division One school and you're not playing, then you end your feelings. So I transferred to Northwestern State University in Natchitoches, Louisiana, on another basketball scholarship. So since I transferred from one division school to another one, I had to sit out a year where I practiced with the team, but I couldn't play, but I still went to school. So I ended up graduating from um, NSU with a bachelor's degree in business. Then I moved to Houston, lived in Houston for a couple of years, and decided to go back and get my master's degree in business. So I went to Texas Southern University in Houston, and that's where I graduated with my MBA in a sorority. So I am a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. So I pledged Delta at um, Northwestern State University, spring 04. Are you bisexual? I don't know why somebody asked me this. <laughs> I have no idea. No, I'm not bisexual. Like, to, I don't get offended when people ask that, but I just think that's a random question. No, I'm not. But you know what? I will say, like, when I was in college, um, a lot of guys in college would ask me if I was bisexual or gay because of the people that I hung out with. Like, some of my teammates were bisexual or gay, or gay and we were all cool. Like, we were all, like, legit friends, so I'm not going to stop hanging out with them because of their sexuality, so we just all hung out together. What is your favorite music genre hands down my favorite music genre is 90s r&b 
y'all like i'm like just even thinking about 90s r&b y'all don't know what that does to me like it takes me back to when i was like a teenager when you like crushing on a boy and you talking on the phone all night and you up late at night like watching video soul and midnight love or you're listening to the radio talking to a boy on the phone and you like hey you hear that song you know on the radio uh turn it to 106 point you know like whatever i just love 90s r&b so definitely 90s r&b do you have any piercings? Yes, I have my ears pierced. I had my belly button pierced as of like three months ago. The little bottom ring kept coming out. And um, one day I took the whole thing out, forgot to put it in. And then like within like a week, I think, or two weeks, it had closed up. So that's it for that. I ain't getting it done again. Um, how long did it take you to grow out your hair? I did not big chop. Um, so from the I have the the pictures in my hair journey videos. So I guess my hair was like maybe right here, um, and now it it is where it. Well, I guess I can pull some pull it down to see. I don't know if you guys can see that it is where it is now. But um, it's it's taken four years. Favorite TV shows. Favorite TV shows. Oh my God, Queen Sugar. It's like one of my favorite shows. Queen Sugar, Power, and How to Get Away with Murder. I would say those are my favorite shows. Where's the furthest you've ever been from home? Australia. What is your favorite book? Favorite book I ever read was years and years ago, and it was The Coldest Winter Ever by Sister Soldier. Favorite snack? I got a lot of snacks. I love gummy bears, so I'm going to say gummy bears. I like Cheetos. I like Flaming Hot Cheetos. I like the little, like, mini Snickers. Because sometimes I get overwhelmed. I'm kind of weird. Like, my head is a little throw. Like, with big candy bars, I get overwhelmed with this. What phone do you have? I have an iPhone 6. What are your favorite things about yourself? What is what is that about? Who want to talk about themselves? Um, me. <laughs> what are favorite things about me? Ooh, I would say that I'm a loyal friend. Like once we cool, we cool. You know what I mean? And I'll do anything and everything I can for you. I think that I am a thoughtful person, and I think the 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 thing that's most important about me, I would say, is that I'm very genuine. You know what I mean? If I do something for you, I'm going to do something for you because I want to do something for you. I'm not going to do something for you so you can tell somebody else because I'm not going to tell anybody. So I think at the end of the day, I'm a very genuine person and I'm very loyal. What's your favorite restaurant? Papados. Favorite holiday? If you know me, you know that I love Christmas. I am Christmas obsessed. Like, I love it. I want to wear the Christmas, the Christmas pajamas. Um, every year I want to watch the same Christmas movies. I just, I love everything about Christmas. And I actually love giving gifts to people more than I, more than I love receiving them. Unless it's from my fiance. I feel like, you know, that's different. You know, you want gifts from your man, but you know, you ain't really worried about nobody else. But one thing you know now that you wish you had known as a kid. I would say stay a kid. Lord, when you are young... Especially when you get to high school. When I was in high school, I was like, I already got my scholarship. I'm ready to go to college because my mama was not having it in school. She was strict. And looking back, I'm glad she was that strict on me. I was a senior. I was like, I'm ready to go to college. You know, I'm going to go to class stuff, but you know, I'm ready to kick it. You know, um, then once you get to college, for me, college was hard because, you know, I was playing basketball and all that other stuff. But you in college and you're not working so it's like man i'm just ready to graduate to college so i can make money and man when you get in the real world it's totally different so i just feel like i i would tell myself to just enjoy life enjoy being a kid because the world will chew you up and spit you out just like that these are the questions that you guys ask me like i said some of them i got from the tag um online if you guys have any other questions or if you have asked questions previously and i didn't put them on here i'm sorry but you can leave them in the comment section below and i will definitely answer them um like i said in the beginning if you haven't already subscribed to my channel go ahead and subscribe give this video a thumbs up help us out and i think that's it so until next time talk to you guys later Bye.